when you tell the mind to stay with the breath. You have to keep watch on it, because it's very quick to slip away. As John Fuhrman put it, it's like you're a student in the classroom, and you need a teacher to keep the students in line. And so you have to play both student and teacher, doing the work you need to do, and then watching over yourself to make sure the work gets done well. The Buddha said that the whole of the holy life is admirable friendship, but that doesn't mean the admirable friend is going to do all the work for you. In fact, admirable friendship doesn't mean just having an admirable friend. It means internalizing the qualities of that friend, so you have them inside you. In other words, the teacher inside the mind becomes your admirable friend, keeping you in line, encouraging when you need encouragement, coming down hard when you're getting out of line, and in general, encouraging you to learn. You may remember this teacher you had in school, the ones who were really strict and in insisting that you really make an effort to learn the whatever the subject was. And at the time, you probably didn't like them, but you look back on them and you realize, these are the teachers who helped you the most. So that's the kind of teacher you want to have in mind. So you're training to be a student, and you're training to be a good student, and you're training to be a good teacher at the same time. That way, whether teachers outside are with you or not, you've still got a teacher inside. Keeps you in line. With a sense of shame and compunction. Healthy shame, healthy compunction. To realize that realizing that the most important thing to be afraid of in life is that you're going to do something unskillful. Someone once said that you don't overcome fear by having no fear at all. You overcome fear by realizing that there are other things that are more important. So what's most important right now is getting your mind in good shape. As for your worries about the world, you have to put them aside. Because when the time comes and you're facing aging, illness, and death, the world may help you a little bit, but the main help has to come from within. So you work on providing that help, being the good student, being the good teacher. That way you keep yourself safe. That's the duty of a good teacher, is to offer protection. And the Buddha's protection is to give us a clear sense of what should and should not be done. Guidelines for figuring out for ourselves what should and should not be done. And being confident that our actions really do make a difference. So you do your best. <laughs>